Welcome to African Dream Motivation. Just remember, when you think all is lost, the future remains. Robert H. Goddard Sometimes, past and current occurrences occupy our hearts, causing great sadness and worry. The pain of what might be lost could be very great to the extent that one could dwell on it for a long time. Past occurrences carry huge weight, which reduces your ability to live in the present and look forward to the future. This is because the past consists of a loss and a memory. What is lost can be regained to some extent with certain exceptions, but the ideal memory can never be remade. But the happy news is that you stand a chance of positioning yourself and creating a better memory than you had in the past. You cannot look back and walk forward, you will fall. Most often than not, we recognize what we lose and don't even take notice of what we have. What is left is a solid foundation for a strong build-up. It is the most valuable asset you have. Do not ignore it. You may have lost your job, but you still have life. It is enough. Your cup may be half empty, but at the same time, it is half full. It depends on how you look at it. Cheer yourself up. When blood flows through you and you are alive, you are a symbol of hope. It doesn't matter what you have gone through or what you lost. In an examination, when you make a mistake and it is not yet time up, you correct it as soon as possible. It is the same in life. You messed up badly, but you are alive, meaning you have some time left to rewrite your wrongs. Your life is like a book of many pages. If you wasted some sheets, just turn to a new page. Until all the sheets are used up, you always have an opportunity to write a great story. If there is a way to make good use of the time left in order to make up for the past losses, then hard work is the key. There was an extremely wealthy family in the Philippines in the 1920s. Unfortunately, the father who had amassed so much wealth died and this was the beginning of the family's woes. The father's death caused the loss of the family's wealth. They became extremely poor and struggled to rise up again. This is the story of how a young boy named John Gokongwe persevered to restore his family's fortunes. John Gokongwe was born on 11th August 1926. His grandfather was a prominent figure among the Chinese Filipinos. His father was wealthy and luckily for him, he was born into these riches. But a tragedy befell his family when he was growing up. His father died when he was young and the family's fortunes were completely lost. They were now poor after being so rich. At the age of 13, he supported his family by peddling items along the street from his bicycle. Also, when he was 17 years old, he began selling goods to people far and near using a wooden boat. He was so determined to make it in life and kept working hard. After the Second World War, he started his own company and called it Amesia Trading, which was into importation of flour, onion, fruits, used clothes, and many others. When his sisters returned from China, he started importing cigarettes and whiskey. But later on, he realized that there was only a little profit on these products since the importation cost takes most of the money. He then began manufacturing these products himself to cut costs. This really boosted his profit and in 1961, he established Consolidated Food Corporation which grew to launch great coffee brands. Later in his business career, he earned an MBA and took classes in management. He became a billionaire and was indeed a philanthropist. He had holdings in telecommunication, finance service, petrochemical, power generation, aviation, beverages and livestock farming. 
He was indeed a man of perseverance who significantly brought back the long lost fortunes of his family in his own way. Sometimes we allow certain things to stand between us and our future, which keeps us away from reaching our full potential. It is time you value the present and work hard now to make the future pleasant to live in. It is never too late. The past had already been written. The present is in motion, but the future is yet to be made. Forget your pain, worry, or sadness. Have faith for a better tomorrow and work hard towards it. Always remember that no matter how many things you've lost, you still have life. Be inspired and never give up. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Also, share this video with anyone you believe will love it as you did. Thanks again. See you in our next video. Until then, have a nice day.